Amani Tamba and welcome to the Journey of a Lifetime Ghana Tour December 24th to January 5th and today is December 25th and uh, welcome to Accra Ghana uh, Ghana is my favorite country in the entire world and I called Ghana the Jamaica of Africa the perfect connection for someone that's born in the roots and culture of Jamaica and then wanted us connect back to the African continent so what we have set up for you is the best program that we have put together and this is the 18th journey of a lifetime to Ghana and it's displayed in this incredible tour book that I uh, put my heart and soul into and I've been modifying these tour books ever since my uh, tour st staff started them in 2007 and I started this, taking it to a different direction in 2012 and so what you have is a full book this book is is also I have a nice digital version that um, gave everyone access to and the important thing about the uh, digital book, uh, number one, um, the books are heavy, so we have to check everything in. But the digital book is for you, say you're out there in Accra somewhere, and you're having so much fun that you say, you know what, uh, Bomani gave me a, a return time to get back to the bus, but you know what, I'm just gonna spend more time shopping. So in that case, uh, you have everyone information in there. My Ghana number, uh, our tour guide, uh, our assistant, uh, Kobla, and you, know, you also have the hotel information in there. So that's the important part of it. That way you always have it on your phone. And uh, even if you do, don't have the um, printed copy, you have it. But it has the full exact schedule of everything that we're doing to a T. Uh, so instead of asking me what we're doing every morning, you can look in the book and be clear on it. But every night before we take off, um, before we get off the bus and head back to the hotel, we're gonna go over the schedule, at least two days of the schedule. And then in the morning, the tour guide is gonna go over the schedule. So. You don't have to ask us all the time what we're doing. Um, and the reason I'm saying that because if 20 people come to you and ask you the same question like every other day, it gets, uh, it gets overwhelming. Uh, so uh, we went through the schedule, went through a whole lot uh, the last several months. And I did that that way when we get here to Ghana, we're clear and we're ready to enjoy ourselves. And note, uh, the schedule in the morning requires you to just basically be ready to leave about 8.30. Now, what the departing time may be, may be a little different. But uh, as long as you're ready by that time in the morning, um, when we call for say boarding, then um, you'll be ready to go. So um, the package that I gave outside of the tour box, it does have two pens. It, does, it has this wonderful tour t-shirt, which we always wear when we go to, well not always wear, but lately we wear when we go to Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, basically our city tour day. And the same day we have our repatriation and investment conference. So we're just asking everybody to come out in solidarity to wear the Africa for Africans t-shirt. Other days that we have is uh, when we're in Cape Coast, uh, Elmina, for Ancestral Day, where we're all white and then we'll have a red, black, and green day. But since that's on the second leg of the journey, we know we definitely go over that. But uh, more important, uh, trying to get us all ready for Monday. Uh, also in the schedule, what you're gonna uh, realize uh, in the schedule is um, the, the business conference and things like that. So just uh, be in your best strength and energy. For those who are staying back, definitely recommend you just have all of the energy and stay at the business conference. It's Monday, it's like seven to nine at night. That way you can meet all of the people that I need to introduce you to if you wanna stay with some of my friends or stay with some of my associates that I have here that have houses, uh, guest rooms, or if you just wanna have a local stay, that is what I recommend. Uh, if not, then um, me and Yara can see what we can do and try to find you an apartment or something. But I uh, want you to take advantage of all of the networking and all of the people that you're gonna be meeting. And that way you can you know, connect yourself. Um, and if you need extra help or you need someone to look out for you, you have people here. And that's the purpose of us doing this journey to where we can, because once we have this journey organized, we have so many people and so many connections around, we just can connect you in just a few different segments. And that's the best one. We have a big conference room, a whole lot of people are gonna be there. And we're gonna also be talking about our Black Star Pan African community. And we're going to be talking about uh, just how to live, do business in, in, in Ghana and Africa and then tell you the most important thing which is strength in numbers and us you know, rolling in solidarity and looking out for each other. I'm um, not sure what people may see on YouTube but sometimes you have individuals that come here and they think they just, they've been here for like two, three months and they think they just know the country and all this stuff. And that's the best way to get yourself into drama and problems. Um, I've been coming to this country uh, for 13 years. Uh, excuse me, 14 straight years, um, from 2006 to 2020. And um, yes, I can move here anytime I want to move here, but that's never a simple game plan. You want to make sure that you have things in place, things organized and set up as you need it to. 
And especially if you're not uh, part of the retirement class, you probably don't want to rush a situation unless you have your business and all those things flowing. So we always try to give everybody the best advice as possible. We're never on YouTube trying to get views, trying to get subscribers. It's all about educating our people so we can build the black power that we talk about, like that, that I learned in America and been able to just grow from. Uh, so family, that's, um, that's a quick overview of uh, everything, but most important thing is absolutely the schedule. Make sure you're clear on the schedule. Make sure you are ready in the morning. And if you do decide to go out with us late at night, please don't do like what other people do. Blame me for keeping them out late and all kind of stuff. And I tell folks, I was like, only, there's only one child on the trip, and he's my little boy. And uh, you know, everyone else is grown. Let's just be accountable. So honestly, if you can't hang, don't come out. And if you you know, you end up just staying in your bed late at night because of whatever reason, just get your rest and you know, the bus will be back and you'll see us another day and so on. But uh, it's all up to you. Uh, if they find out the schedule is too busy and you can hang, I would say this uh, rest one of those days, go, go swim in the pool. Uh, there's a spa in the, in, the, you know, in the complex. So if you want massages, if you want uh, pedicure, manicure, you want a haircut, things like that. You can get right there, and also the neighborhood itself has a whole lot to offer uh, in East Lagarde. Uh, it's one of the most incredible neighborhoods um, you know, I've been told of in West Africa, and based on going to other countries and things like that, it's a really unique neighborhood. So when people tell me about crazy stuff about Africa and starving and poor and all this other stuff, I was like, come, you know, come to our neighborhood in East Lagarde, and we'll show you, you know, we'll show you what you know Africa is about. So uh, most of what we are going to do is in this neighborhood. Uh, there's a few nightclubs um, and a few social places that when we go, uh, it's just, honestly, it's about a you know, five, 10 minute walk. But also we have guys with us, so if you decide that you wanna come back earlier, you just not feeling wherever we're going to, then uh, we have people that escort you. And we do that because it's one of those things where, you know, sometimes you go out with your friends and one person got the car and they take all of us out and then that be the person because they can't drink, they want you to, they wanna leave and they're getting upset with you. <laughs> And so, in this case, you know, we prevent we prevent that by having other people available, and then none of us have to drive. And you know, we have taxi drivers, and if you have Uber, you can use it also. So these are just the things that's going through to get you prepared. And the most important thing out of everything I said is just to be positive, be respectful to everyone, whether they toss in bags, they mop in floors, or they cook in your food, or they're the, they're the owner of one of the hotels we go into. Uh, we we like to just, uh, spread love and a dip diplomatic energy. That way we're always welcome back into the country. And one thing I can say about Ghana is this, we're always welcome here, but our welcome is based on our uh, diplomatic, diplomatic uh, attitude and us just showing love. And everyone in the country is friendly and they're all here to look out for your best interests. So family, we're here at our stay at the Micklin Hotel. I'm gonna get everybody uh, checked into their rooms and I'll see everybody for the morning. Club. Now, what time you want everybody to get ready because we're going up to the orphanage. I'd say everyone be ready by 8.30. And if you have school supplies, you can take some of your school supplies and bring with you and financial donation. Most of the school supplies that I have and what we're doing, we're gonna bring it to our community in Jahadzi where we have our Black Star Pan-African land. And we're using that as a way to build fresh relationship in that uh, city. And that's also one of the schools that we've never been to. So, you know, we like to just do it right and just come strong. So family, um, if anyone have any, if anyone have any questions, uh, let me know so I can uh, answer it up. Go ahead. I need to exchange money. All right, perfect. If you need to exchange money, uh, you can stay on the bus, and Mohammed is gonna exchange it for you. This is Mohammed, and he's the uh, money exchanger. Uh, anybody else have any questions before we uh, get off? All right, so that means everybody's clear. And remember, if nothing else, uh, whether you check the printed version of your book or the digital version of your book, the schedule is all the same. So everyone, just uh, keep passing the markers around and, and, and filling out your name on your book and your bag. And uh, other than that, um, I'm gonna get the rooms together so once you get into the lobby, our guys are gonna bring the bags in and everything and uh, we get everybody up to the room. Go ahead. If we have CDs left over at the end of the tour, can we convert them back to dollars? Yeah, usually once you finish your CDs, um, if you have more left, uh, you just give all of it to the tour guide and the tour staff, and they'll really appreciate you. <laughs> oh. And if nothing else, no. you can exchange it with yeah, me, and I'll yeah, give yeah. some US dollars, you know, some small money. Yeah. Take it back to the grandkids. But family, appreciate everybody. I know it was like a hustle getting here, but uh, we let people know that if you love That's Africa, and you, you just have to do what we have to do. This, this cra these crazy drama of uh, how we have to get to Africa now is a little bit more difficult than it was. 
but nevertheless, we're gonna let people know that it's worth it and by showing them a great time. So we're gonna be recording our entire journey. Just smile a lot when the camera and the camcorder comes in just so let everybody know you're happy and you're having the best time in your life. All right, go ahead. I think some of, I don't know about anybody else, but I've been wanting to clap at some of the things and cheer at some of the things, but I didn't want to interrupt the camera. Can we clap now? Uh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can clap now and uh, we're gonna close out. All right, friends, welcome to the journey. And uh, if you're rolling, if you're hanging out with us, we'll see you in about 30 to 45 minutes downstairs. And then we'll socialize and roll out. Other than that, everyone have a good night and we'll see you in the morning.